Good morning or good afternoon actually shoot it's been a busy day a busy weekend kind of but i actually used all three of the trucks all had a different purpose that one is clogged up had a machine on it to start off the weekend so i went to my old trailer with my new truck and went and picked up the 12 and uh yeah then i ended up using the 04 with the dump trailer this morning helping out my lady's parents did some tree work at their house and just they wanted to haul all this over here with their ford ranger and i said no nah, that'll take that'll take like 20 trips so i'll just bring the dump trailer we'll all get it in one load and bada bing we can either mulch it up with this which i know how that works or oh i got pallet forks by the way some bradcos excited to use those suckers but we're gonna try the beast of a PTO on the back of the Kubota. We'll see what this thing is made out of. I've done some mulching of some brush on my own time, but I figured some people might want to see how it does actually mulching up some debris. Might be around a house or something because a lot of people might have a PTO Kubota and not want to get uh, involved with a bigger rig like a big skid steer to run a mulch head. So we'll show you guys how this works. Get the sucker fired up. Should have to use the clutch just to start the machine and then engage a PTO. Other than that, it's all hydrostatic. A couple people were talking about the difference between hydrostat and a regular one. Release the clutch just like your car or truck. Concerned about the lifetime of those. Well, all the excavators and that, essentially, they're all hydrostatically driven, so I ain't driven. Cool thing about this rig, yeah, you gotta let the engine warm up like normal, but you don't need to let the whole rig warm up enough so that the hydraulic oil is good, so when you rev it up, you're not cramming some cold, thick hydraulic oil through some pumps and motors. This thing's all PTO. It can handle it solid.
was uh how long did that go for 13 minutes all right so we did two things we separated the firewood out of the brush pile and we turned the rest into mulch come over here look at this is the kind of stuff that it's leaving behind for a you know rough pass for a homeowner it's not too not too shabby i would consider this a homeowner type of a machine it's not very high production the Amount of time spent on that, according to the camera, was about 13 minutes to mulch up that pile, which was a pretty decent dump trailer load. But if you're running a brush hog, you can mow grass. But then what happens when you come up to a big pile of brush? Well, yeah, I guess you can mulch it up or grind it up, but this, you know, it's got its purpose. People kind of want to see what the teeth look like they're just triple tooth carbides there's nothing too fancy about these fe head pto it's got a hood on the back here because this is my little mulching area down here so i'm just throwing stuff because well that's what this area is for it's keeping erosion down and i don't need it looking completely pretty and then on this side the commenter was mentioning something about the rotation of the drum this thing actually the bottom of it kicks back at the machine but it's got these chains and it's got a hood back here when you're going forward you lift this hood up and the stuff's got an easier passageway getting underneath to be ground up but if you're going backwards you got to keep this hood down or else it'll kick it right up into your lap or into your forehead and you don't want any of that but when it's down very minimal amount of debris gets up in the cockpit it's a little bit dangerous i'll admit having an open open seat no windshield none of that stuff but Homeowner. Homeowner doesn't always have the best options, I guess. Affordable tractor. It is a 51 horsepower turbo diesel Kubota. And I believe it's something like 44 PTO horsepower right to the rear. Uh, one cool thing, engine temp remained no problem. I only ran it for 15 minutes, but, you know, high RPM and uh, max potential every time it runs into something. And... How fast it can spool back up is pretty nice given that it you know it's pto it's not waiting for hydraulic flow and all the restriction of the hoses so there there's goods and bads about it i did clog the head up and uh it took a couple minutes to unclog that so that wasn't too much fun so affordable yeah i don't even know if they make this head anymore so if anybody's asking about the fee head you have to talk to your local dealer i don't know but i'm sure there's a different brand that makes a mulcher head pto driven for a three point um, but this one's an fe one it came with this machine body used i kind of like it it's nice to just have this around the house for when we got a brush pile that would need to be mulched up all this stuff was cut at the house or parents house and bring it down and grind it up the aggressive nature of the head being that it's not a DCR, the bigger stuff, this is what happens to it here. It can kind of get like that. It'll get stuck in there. And these counter cutters, that's what's supposed to be the bite right there. So sometimes, or a lot of times, you can see this firewood pile I got going here. This stuff all went through the head somehow or another, or it gets kicked back because it's got such a mean bite and it just gets thrown to the front of the machine. Skid steer machine and dedicated mulchers, which we do have. If anybody's concerned and new to the channel, we do have plenty of those. This one, you got to be real careful getting stuff up under your undercarriage because there's no skid pans, none of that. I felt something kind of hitting my brake pedal linkage, so I had to maneuver around that. But you can see all this down here. If I were to make several more passes and close the hoods and everything, it makes decent sized mulch. Nothing to be ashamed of but I'm just shooting it all down there. Keep the erosion good and contained. All right, let's try out these new pallet forks.
isn't even all the way warmed up yet. Well, it's safe to say that the tractor doesn't have enough in the tank to lift up the stuff I was kind of hoping it would. But that's why we got that guy here. I brought home all this stuff rather than mulching it. I'm going to turn it into some form of fencing. Something on the back side of the property. Something rustic look. But this stuff over here, I thought it would be kind of cool just to stand it up somewhere. Because, well, we just mulched it up. And this cedar, well, that's a big chunk of cedar. I'll stand that up out by, I don't know, property corner or something. I don't know how much it weighs, but when I sit in the... Uh, 20,000 pound Kubota excavator this thing it doesn't have any trouble lifting any of these so it's kind of weird to step into the wheel tractor and it doesn't want to do much with it hey by all means it's capable of doing it just got to get it correct on the forks and all that and you can really tell when you're starting to exercise the max amount of potential out of one of these by what the steering does if you get a lot of weight and you got your tires straight it handles it pretty good in a straight line but as soon as you start to turn it if your power steering can't hang oh what i got here then you're probably pretty heavy the tires weren't squatting that bad i tried to lift one of these cinder blocks just a little bit with the pallet forks eh, it didn't uh, it didn't compute but these pallets are these forks are rated for 5500 pounds or something like that of course that's all the way up close next to it i i don't think the uh a boat has got enough to hurt these forks still fun though glad to finally have a set always seeing people getting a pair of these when they get a Kubota or their skid steer and i never really found a use for one because most of the time we just got you know logging equipment on there but now i'm starting to see the potential in them cart some stuff around the yard i think i'm going to be happier with their use on the 12 but i'm having fun moving stuff around those logs are in the way for turning around a trailer right here. I still got to cart those bigger ones somewhere. Probably do that right now. I got to figure out where they need to go though. Left foot on the brake pedal. Put your right foot on the rocker. Yep. Put your heel down there. See, no. See where it's worn? Look to your right. See it? There you go. Rev it up. Just give her a little juice. A little bit more. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you're in for a treat. Miss Taylor's gonna try it. She's gonna pick up this cedar. She's driven the little blue articulating loader quite a bit. She's actually driven this before. Let's see how she fares. I won't say nothing to her. I think she can hurt it. It's on flat ground. <laughs> I'm gonna have to time lapse this. No offense. She's so short she kept getting up off the seat and if you get off the seat when you're trying to move the machine it it's like a ride lawnmower it'll turn the machine off see <laughs> all right i'll give her one pointer hey roll all the way back Hey, you got to get it all the way against the back plate or else you're unstable because it's out there on the tips. So you just got to, you okay? Sometimes you got to get a little fresh with it, get it jerking around. I haven't decided where I want to put these yet, so we're going to make her put it up on the top. We're going to have her put it on the top. No peer pressure here. Hey, wait till you get close to it before you do that. It 
see a lot of people drive around with the bucket up in the air with a load and that's just dangerous try to get in the habit of keeping it low all the time there you go start lifting hey you got to dump while you're going up or else it'll roll back on the machine Tire's not squatting bad. Hey, you better fix that. There you go. Well, I'm going to end this one right here, guys. I hope you enjoyed Taylor and I messing around on a Sunday afternoon. Comment below how many of you have a lady that's baller enough to just willing to try to run a machine and willing to learn it like she's towing it away over there comment below how many of you guys got a lady that's cool enough to do that kind of stuff i think it's kind of neat but anyway guys like comment subscribe share this video if you feel it's worthy we'll see you guys on the next one pto machine household use i think it's worth the money if this is what you're going to have right here this setup and you just want to do a little bit of maintenance around the house and to grind your own brush rather than hire a shipping company Hey, you got to idle it down first. Put that stick forward now. She's still learning. But I like the whole setup. I'm very happy with it. I think it would be get every job done I want. Um, I guess I'm trying to push it a little bit too far for its potential. Used to these other rigs, I guess. But see you guys in the next one. Later.